Speak of the devil. Not Mrs. Johnson. Her sister, Priscilla Arbach. Oh, no. You don't think putting your hand over that now is doing any good? We heard every word. Hello, Priscilla. Uh, oh, Nancy. Uh, is anything wrong? What in the world's all that noise? Oh, the noise? <laughs> oh, it must have been the radio. That guy in number 19 is two minutes late this morning. You mean everybody around here eats and sleeps by a clock? Exactly. What a lie. Some people like it that way. The same thing every day? That's our whole plan. Their daily routine, our split second timing. I wonder if Miss Priscilla Arbach has mush for breakfast. No, no, she probably has chocolates. Keeps a box right by the phone. Dials the phone with one hand, plunks in the chocolates with the other. The early bird catches the worm, you know. Mm. Oh. Nancy, I want you to be prepared for a wonderful compliment. Now take a deep breath. Are you ready? Mm. The committee has decided they want your Ken to be president of the PTA this coming year. You've decided what? We've decided that we want Ken for... Nancy, can't you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I hear you. You say you want Ken for president of the PTA? What? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't think it's funny at all. Uh, no, I think Ken would make a delightful president. <laughs> I want nothing to do with the PTA. As far as I'm concerned, the PTA can go to... Go where, Pop? Uh, never mind, Bobby. You, uh, go get dressed for school. I am dressed. Oh. Well, then, go brush your teeth. You know, this should certainly be a step up for Ken in our community. At least that's what Mr. Johnson says. You've talked to Mr. Johnson? Of course, and he's very enthusiastic about it. I know Ken won't let us down. You tell him we'll have lots of fun. Yes, Priscilla, I'll tell him. Mr. Johnson is very enthusiastic, and you'll have just lots of fun. Mr. Johnson's in on this, too? So it seems. Well, that does it. What time does he usually leave? Eight. Sometimes ten to eight. Six or seven times I cased him last month. He never left earlier than 10 to 8, never later than 8. Same routine every day. I guess he likes it, huh? Sure he likes it. He's got a happy home. Just chock full of love. Nancy, I have something to say to you. Uh, I think maybe we've both said enough. Now, please, Nancy. Darling, let's not fight. Seems like all we've been doing is fighting lately. Look, I just want you to sit down there and listen to me for a minute. Now, will you do that? All right. I'm listening. Nancy. Yes. <laughs> I can't talk to you like this. Sit over there. No, I don't think I will. You're much too serious. Besides, I know what you're going to say. You... You do? Darling. I couldn't care less about the PTA or whether you're president of the PTA. As far as I'm concerned, you can tell him to go jump in the lake. That's not what I wanted to say. Nancy, I want... My bike plate! Mom, I lost my bike plate. Have you seen it? Oh, no. Not another one. Don't move. Nancy. Oh, Bobby. Never mind, Mom. I found it. Now, that's a good place to keep it. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. Now, what was it you were saying? It wasn't important. Some other time. <laughs> well, it is getting late. Yes, yes, I, I better get to work. What'd you like to help the cellar? Oh, just tell her I'll think it over. 
This hangover's killing me. Maybe the whole thing will look better tomorrow. Well, I better hurry. It's ten of eight. Well, I'm a little late. Hey, haven't you forgotten something? Uh, have I? She wants the kiss. Bobby, what are you doing? Just studying Dad's technique. All right, young man, in the house. Okay, but I don't think I'm going to miss much anyway. Well, pretty fresh, <laughs> isn't he? He may be right. You didn't tell me they had no kid. So what if I didn't? I think I'd like a real goodbye kid. Why, I should. Hey, I hope Bobby's peeking through that window. In this kind of setup, you tell me everything, mister. I don't want to fool around with no kids. Now, you get rid of them or cut me out. What's with you and kids? I had one getting away one time, and I ain't going to fool around with no kids. All right, now, now you calm down. Now. You wait until the kid goes to school. So what time does he go? 8.15 on the nose. Every day at the same time? Every day at the same time. My name. See what I mean? Love. See you later. There's a guy that'll do anything for his wife. We're going to make him do it. I fixed breakfast for two this morning. Orange juice? Just coffee. You wouldn't be eating breakfast at home today. I'm sorry, honey. It's the hangover. We had a pretty big night last night. Remember? Last night you said you'd ask Nancy for a divorce this morning. You promised me. I just couldn't, that's all. Oh, I don't want it this way. What do I say? What did you plan on saying last night? You knew it wouldn't be easy. Easy? Every time I build up to the subject, somebody or something interrupts. It's some gossipy club woman, a bike plate, or a, a baseball uniform. And when I finally tell her I have something to say to her, she tells me she knows what it is. And does she? No, no. She thought it was something else. Ken, I didn't want this to happen any more than you did. It has happened. We're faced with it. All right. Should we go? No one will make fun of your clean trousers, and if they should, you just tell Miss Forbush. Oh, uh, Mom, I don't want to be a snitcher. Well, I'm getting tired of waiting. A muffler. That's good thinking. Yeah. A perfect house to house salesman. Oh, listen, come right home for lunch. Oh, I forgot I'll need 50 cents for the school plays this afternoon. I'll give it to you at noon. Aren't they giving it for the parents this time? Sure, Tuesday night, but you don't want to go, do you? Why not? I'm not in it. <laughs> I'm sure there are parents who go whose children aren't in it. Not very many. Well, I'll ask your daddy if he wants to be one of the not very many. I'll call you between 10.30 and 11. I'll be waiting. Off you go. Well, that's your cue and mine. Right. Don't use that unless you have to. Wait the full five minutes. What else? Five minutes between each phone call. Don't get trigger happy. Everything was going on schedule. Just as I planned. <laughs> 